Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Notions One, <coughs> and my name is Ben. Just gonna show you a motherboard. It's a Asrock Z77 Pro 3 motherboard, as you can see above there, that slot. It consists of a set Z77 Express chipset which has onboard VGA, I mean graphics, as standard. This board doesn't have DVI for the onboard. It only has a VGA character, so bear that in mind. <coughs> CPU, it can take either an Ivy Bridge, which is the newer type, or a sandy bridge, which is the older type of processor. This board is actually broke, that is why I've got it on my knee, and I'm not bothered about breaking it apart from the pins on the motherboard. And none of them are bent, but I can see it looks perfect. I think it is. Yeah, nothing really too bad like that. Yeah, so you've got your if you want to use anything other than the onboard graphics, which would be HD 3000 if you use Sandy Bridge processor, or HD 4000 if you use an Ivy Bridge. So it's got the 16 times PCI Express slot there. The end bit doesn't that doesn't actually move that this bit here. Sorry, that bit there doesn't move. Capacitors look like Japanese ones, standard kind of cupped, and it's got the second PCI Express slot there, which would I assume run at eight times when you've got a card in the first slot there, or well, it might even be four times, I'm not too sure. One weird thing about this is that it's got two PCI slots, which is IDOS almost class PCI, that's legacy now. Because these ones, these little things here, these little PCI Express slots, run at two times, I think, or four times. It might even be one times. Not 100% sure. I haven't read up on computers for ages, but I am actually, or well, I was an IT technician. But yeah, but these slots here, they're very good for sound cards and external cards, and they're small, so it's really easy to put, put the card in. And yeah, you, you can fit pretty much, well, most cordless to this board. It's got a bit of clearance, clearance at the top, clearance to the left, about, say, three quarters of an inch clearance there. And you got about three quarters, more than three quarters of an inch of clearance there, getting towards an inch from the actual socket, because that bit there, when, it, when the lever's down, the edge of it isn't actually the socket, so the heatsink wouldn't be covering that anyway. It'd be in more. It's got, it's got heatsink here covering the MOSFETs at the top, and they don't seem to have any more at the top, <coughs> which is probably why it's a Pro 3 and not an Extreme 4. I've got an Extreme 4 that has died as well due to power issues. I'll show you the back of it. You got your, it's got a PS2, so you can plug a keyboard or a mouse into it. Two USB 2s, VGA, HDMI, USB 3, USB 2, I would assume, because it hasn't got the blue bit, and Ethernet port there. You got your sound, you got your sound there, you got your sub or whatever and you've got another set of speakers there no in fact that's uh, for the sound uh, the green is where you would plug headphones or uh, PC speakers in and the pink one's a microphone socket and the blue one can be used for speakers as well and I'm not too sure about these but it's 5.1 so you'd plug different speakers into them depending on what setup you've got. And that is it for the in, input output at the rear. So yeah, 
I didn't I did get this board to the BIOS but and then it failed. Second time I tried to get it to the post it failed on me due to power issues. I think we've been having power issues in our house because I've gone through quite a few boards. But that's a pro free and oh I forgot the RAM. I think you can take up the thirty two gig. Sixteen no four eight eight sixteen then that double it thirty two. So it's got four slots, so you can get 40 to 32 gig of RAM there. This slot here, this, that's for your front USB 3. That's for your SATA 3 actually, that's SATA 3. And these one here, these four here are SATA 2s. I don't really know that much about this, and that's the South Bridge. If it has a South Bridge, I don't... I'm, I thought it only had one chipset. On oh yeah, it's just a, it's a, it, that's just the chipset heatsink. Yeah, and there's your CMOS battery CR two hundred three two. So yeah, that's that board there, which is going back. I just got to put a thing on the on the uh, uh, CPU to stop it getting damaged. Here we have an Extreme Four. I'll show you the difference to the. Yeah, buy one of them things, I mean one of these, to protect the CPU soft, the, the CPU pins from, from getting damaged. Let me fill out then. I'll show you this, because this is also dead. Also, don't put a motherboard on, a working motherboard on an anti-static bag, because on an anti-static bag, it can still have a static on it, ironically. It's outside, you need the inside. This is a seven, same ship set, Z77 Extreme 4 board. This is so it uses the Z77 chip Express chipset. It's pretty similar, it's got a small PCI E uh, PCI Express slot there, and it's got the 16 times graphics card PCI Express slot there, and PCI. Another PCI Express slot and another PCI slot. Oh, and right down the bottom, it's got another PCI Express slot for sound cards and stuff. And on this board, I think that's for serial port, if anyone ever uses one of them these days. And there for your USBs, USB, USB. That's an LED that will come up with numbers, letters, letters, and numbers. To signify a BIOS postcode, and this is the front, the the system headers for uh, like power button, the reset button, the the LEDs and stuff. And this board here is a bit better than the other one. It's got it's more overclock friendly. If you don't want to run it in the case, you've got an on-off button there. So you're using a screwdriver and a reset button there. And here you've got you've got your SATA connectors actually on the side of the board. So I would imagine these ones at the top are SATA three, four SATA threes, and four SATA twos. It says something on here. I'm looking at this in detail. Right, it's just about a boot device. Yeah, so so you can use again Sandy Bridge or Ivy Bridge processor. My processor in my Gigabyte board, I don't use AS Rock anymore, I'm not impressed with them because they just, this has just failed. This is my bad, no, in fact, it's my bad electric, I'm sure. But my Gigabyte board seems solid, probably because it uses military grade capacitors. Anyway, this is a MOSFET heatsink here, and then it's got another MOSFET heatsink here with a groovy Z77 sticker on it and you've got your four slots here dual channel DDR3 RAM you would be able to get up to 32 gig again on this and then again there's your USB 3 header there and Japanese capacitors probably it's hard to tell but they do look it I'll show you the input output at the back starting at the bottom got your sound card 
main one for your speakers or your headphones. Black is usually the sub. And there's that pink or orange, that's pink. That's a microphone. Then it's got SB diff out, SP diff. There you've got USB 3, Ethernet. The red one, I'm not too sure about actually. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to say what that is because I don't know. It's USB something, 2 or 3. And there's USB 2 to standard. And up here you've got, this is a more expensive board, you've got a DVI port there and VGA, two USB 3s and a keyboard or mouse PS2 port. Uh, you, also you got your, yeah, forgot to mention the other boards obviously, you got them as well. Fan headers, these are three pin, but it's got a cut out bit at the top of it there, so you, so you can only put it in one way. And also for the power, got to mention this on the other board as well, you got your 20 plus four pin, H main ATX connector there, and then you've got your 8 pin 12 volt connector here at the top. I find it awkward in the case to pull up it in when it's at the top, in a small case especially. And uh, yeah, this this will do SLI, it'll do crossfire, do the works. It's got, oh yeah, to be, I'll say this is a. AS Rock Z77 Extreme 4 motherboard and you've got your clear your CMOS battery CR2032 here and you've got your another heat sink there AS Rock Ruby sticker again and that's about it I've not had much luck with AS Rock motherboards but it might be down to my power I hope I don't recommend or not recommend them because I've not had a proper experience with this AS Rock, I, I did have an AS Rock board when it was Z77 in my father's computer, my dad's computer, sorry. And uh, it, it did have niggles, like it, it would reboot sometimes on its own, even though everything was perfect, it should have been perfect. But I tried disabling spread spectrum and stuff like that, but it didn't seem to work, nothing would sort that out. You just have to live with it, but you should have a fully stable computer like like that. I'll show you. This, this is my new board here, Gigabyte, which it looks like. Oh, oh better go down. Oh, I don't know if it's got a picture of the. Nah, it hasn't got a picture of the whole board here. Gigabyte back upside down. Might be right actually on the phone. I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah, so anyway, I round it off, this board was about £80, the, the Pro 3 was about £65, £70, so it isn't really a vast amount of money for a decent-ish entry-level board. I would say it's a bit better, this is definitely better, better than entry-level because of the overclocking facilities it seems to have, meaning the power and, the, and the, this, this is what EPOC manufacturer used to do put LEDs put LEDs on for the BIOS code. So if it was FF it was fully something or other you can probably guess the second word. Fully fubered I would say. But it, it could sound for something else. I think they did it on purpose, you know I'm sending these back and what's that? Uh, that's the that's the that's the pro free. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's it for for this video. Just a bit about motherboards. Hope you've enjoyed watching. If you want to see more about computers, I got I've only got one at the moment, but I'll be building a server. I've got some bits over there. Build a server. So I did have a server before, but a graphics card took the motherboard out. It was a so socket uh, seven seven five Intel, and the processor should be fine. Although I'm tested, it's a E. 6853 gigahertz at at stock speeds i've had it up to about what was it 4104 megahertz on air cooling didn't want to push it any further because it was at 1.6 or 1.65 volts which is just too much over there got a few gigabyte boards 
as you can see, there's three stacked up there. One of them is in my computer, so it's only two. They're ready to go back as well. It's because I've, I've, something's damaged them, and it's not me. I've tr I tore it out of the case with just motherboard, CPU, heatsink fan, one stick of RAM, power, and use the onboard graphics. And it, and it works one time, second time, doesn't work. Fan spin, then they stop, then they spin, then they stop, and no post, nothing. Yeah, it, and then it just stops working all, all together eventually. So I, I can never work it out, neither can it end, uh, electricians, high voltage engineers can't work it out either. So yeah, we don't know what it is. I've got a new surge protector, you got a new residual fuse, uh, I don't know what they're called, a slow burn fuse in the in the fuse box, in the garage, near the fuse box. It's in some other box that I can't remember the name of. Yeah, anyway, hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please rate it, and don't take the mic, please, because I've spent quite a long time with this video. And comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And um, hit like if you have liked what you've seen. If you wonder what the other bits are, radio control car into them as well. You see, got one there. HP, HPI, E Firestorm, brushless, fast as hell. Goes about 60 miles an hour, like 65 even. Anyway, have a nice day and thanks for watching. Goodbye.